It's graduation time for some MA students. On Wednesday evening, students from Goldsmiths University had their graduation screening at BAFTA. After eight years, the MA filmmaking program is now expanding into six new pathways. These are the last students on the current Goldsmiths MA filmmaking course, because from September the program is being revamped and expanded. Nevertheless, the students on this year's course are making the most of the opportunity to show off their work in this private viewing, not only to their colleagues, but also to some of the most important people in the industry here in BAFTA. Do you have noisy neighbors keeping you up at night? Perhaps local building work is unduly loud? Whatever the complaint may be, Croydon Council is now more easily reachable than ever before. With a new added feature within its My Croydon app, a report noise function. The app works by recording the decibel level of sounds nearby, then categorizing the sound according to its all-over noise level. From here, the app provides you a direct number to call the council to lodge a complaint. This new feature is believed to be the first of its kind in this country and would make it easier and faster for the residents of Croydon to report noise complaints. Fascinating. You can measure it like this. Really? Yeah, yes. and then report it directly to the council. Mm. The new feature is still in its testing phase after having been released recently and is available for download for Apple iPhone and Android right now. Welcome to Sports News. The draw for the 2015 African Cup of Nations has been held in Malabo, the capital of Equatorial Guinea. 16 teams qualified for the tournament that will kick off on the 17th of January. Defending champions Nigeria are one of many tough squads that failed to qualify for this tournament, with Egypt and Angola also surprisingly absent. Hello and welcome to the program. I am Basha Kunolan. On today's program, the National Union of Teachers is striking in Lewisham today. The population of Tower Hamlets is growing at an alarming rate. Planned bus strikes for today and next week have been postponed by UNITE. Ed Miliband and Lord Fink argue over HSBC tax avoidance scandal. The GLL Sports Foundation in East London helps finance young athletes. Peckham, one of the newest hotspots of London. In Zone 2, south of the river, and within easy reach of the city's main employment centres. While the area will get a facelift, the future remains unknown for some small businesses. Adam Mizu opened his barber's shop in the station area a few weeks ago, but could be forced to sell his business within months. The co-design workshops of the station square are still on the way, but the property prices are already going up. This might be the last months that Peckham is seen like this. The changes on its face, and it all comes down to the question. Will Peckham be able to protect its soul?